My name is Brian Lane, and this is a scene from Justice for All. <clears throat> Your Honor, Mr. Foreman, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Arthur Kirkland, and I'm the defense counsel for the defendant, Henry T. Fleming. Now, I say Henry T. Fleming and not judge Henry T. Fleming because then I get a little embarrassed and I get angry. I mean, don't you get embarrassed? He's a judge. Now, that man, the prosecution, he's a happy man. He couldn't be happier today. You see, he's going after a judge, and if he gets him, he's going to be a star. He's going to be on the cover of this year's law review. But in order to get him, he's going to need your help. He's counting on tapping into that emotion that says, let's get somebody in power. Because let's face it, we are all skeptical of those in power. We've all been burned. Now, what is the purpose of these proceedings? Hmm? To see that justice prevails. Well, what is justice? Well, I think any reasonable person would agree with me that justice is the finding of truth. And what truth, a very tragic one, is that a young girl has been brutally raped. Another truth is that the prosecution does not have one testimony, not one shred of evidence other than the the testimony of the girl herself. Another truth, the prosecution is well aware that my client, Henry T. Fleming, took a lie detector test and he passed it. He told the truth. I'm sorry, that's unadmissible evidence. Uh, just pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> just strike that from the record. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Now, what is the intention of justice? To see that the guilty go to jail and that the innocent go free. But it's not as easy as that, see, because 90% of the people that a defense attorney represents are guilty. I mean, did you realize that? I mean, does, does that surprise you? 90%. That means that the people that I defend are guilty and I put them back on the street as soon as possible. Now, where is the justice in that? Well, the duty of the defense attorney to uphold the rights of the individual. And it is the duty of the prosecution to uphold the laws of the state. You see, it's justice for all. But we have a problem because we both want to win. We both want to win. Winning becomes all. Regardless, regardless of innocence, regardless of guilt, regardless of truth, and therefore regardless of, of justice. Winning becomes all. You know, I won that one, and then I won three more, and then I won six in a row, and I won that one. I didn't even think I was gonna win it, but I won it. It's a game. It's a game. And I intend to win this one. That man, that prosecution is not gonna get my client, Henry T. Fleming, because I am. Henry T. Fleming should go right to fucking jail. The son of a bitch is guilty. And if he's allowed to go out today, there's something terribly wrong with this system. This is crazy. I'm losing. This is a show. This is. Hey, let's make a deal. All right, you want to make a deal with me? Okay, let's make a deal. What do you give me? What do you give me for one crazy son of a bitch judge who likes to beat the shit out of little girls, huh? Three months probation. Whoa. You son of a bitch. You're supposed to stand for something. You're supposed to protect people. But instead, you fucking, you murder them. OK. 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 
that, that concludes my opening statement. <laughs> <laughs>